Good morning, it's 9.30. Doesn't sound, doesn't sound that early, but we don't have practice today. I think this video is gonna be structured like uh, an off day in the life. I still gotta go to the gym, get some working on my off day, kind of show you kind of my workout. More so it's like ball handling and skills and stuff like that. We'll kind of spend some time walking around the city, get some good lunch, probably uh, head back, maybe hit a grocery store. Yeah, kind of just chill out with me on my off day. So, yeah, all right, let's get it, peace. Thankful cause I woke up next to you, you miss lady. Then I fell back to sleep. Only thing woke me up. It doesn't look that good, but this yoga parfait. Everything you need to start the day. Healthy too. Yeah, I'm gonna have a good energy for this workout. Good morning. I just looked outside, the sun is bright to glowing. I just beat your eyes, I swimming like the ocean. I don't wanna get away. It's not hot chocolate. For everybody thinking that, instant coffee because no more espresso pods. Give me a break. I guess this is gonna be a. Uh, Kind of vulnerable but I, you know i told you this is gonna be like the reality of an overseas professional hooper that's what i told you this channel is gonna be i guess this week's been the first week that i kind of been not wanting to film and document this journey because um i've been struggling like a lot basketball wise i mean living wise this is great i'm really enjoying it here but basketball wise this is like the first time i've struggled kind of finding my rhythm finding my place on a team in a while and it's so easy to film and like document and want to share the fun stuff but that's not that's not the reality you know I don't know I was kind of avoiding it on a I kind of live by a principle not live by a principle but it's something that I apply to a lot of different areas if something's broke then you go fix it you don't just wait wait for it to fix itself so I don't always go in on my off days to the gym but you know sometimes rest is really important that's what your body needs like complete rest like 24 hours no hoop no nothing but um when I'm struggling the way I'm struggling I just feel like it'd be uh like disrespectful to myself and the club to not put in some extra work and really put my all into get getting getting on track and you know being able to help this team the best way I, that I can so it's kind of where I'm at right now I really didn't mean to get preachy See you guys on the way to the gym, but just kind of wanted to share what's on my mind lately and, and just know that not everything's as glamorous as what people try and make it out to be. There's highs and lows in every industry, every endeavor everyone goes on. So be honest about your struggles, about your triumphs. Let, let, let's, let's have an open dialogue here. Shout out to Zay Wonder, a little Homs sweatshirt for you. New album just released, Out of Town Boy. Go check it out. Damn, he, he messed up. We outside. You guys have already seen the inside, but I think actually I'll show you the locker room again because we got some new graphics on there. Everybody got their own picture and number in their locker and everything. So I'm, I'm, I'll show you guys that. Oh, it's filthy. Ugh. Super dirty, but take a look at the new boy. What is this? Why you look, bro? What is wrong? You're not tough. You're not tough at all, bro. That's cool though. Just picked up these beauties. I ordered them from the uh, Polish Nike, but they're the Kyrie Four Lows, One World, One People. Let's see, I'll give you a better look. Hey, 
Hey, hey. Even when I'm there, I'm never really there But I love you forever cause I really care And honestly my dreams made me really scared So I'ma go and get the world and then I bring you there Burned a couple bridges but they lit the way I said I never change but I can't stay the same Got some people I would die for and they do the same, do the same. Do the same. I was on the road trying to make it pop I remember when I just wanted to make it stop Used to make a nigga sick and I ain't make a lie All I needed was the one I just kept taking shots So please bear with me, baby I've been feeling like I'm closer to it lately I know a lot of niggas probably say the same thing But them niggas ain't me and that's the main thing Cause I believe in things that I can't see I Told my niggas it's the year that I'ma change things A lot of shit I gotta do before I claim things When they paint the picture they can never frame me I've been running through the city that made me Trying to make a name in the clouds when it's raining Niggas try to play me and I don't wanna play me Thanking God for it, I remember when he saved me Running till I can't breathe Link with me, I fall back in the city, uh Gotta keep it locked at the safe in case you get it, uh She was only fun when I started, but now I switch it, uh Story only told for somebody, you yeah, when I'm there I'm never really there But I love you forever, cause I really care And honestly, my dreams made me really scared So I'ma go and get the world, and then I'm really there <clears throat> Yeah, my body was pretty sore today We've been going hard the last two days, so it kind of was going maybe 60, 60 percent. But uh, most of what I showed you guys is just the warm up. Warmed up for about 20 minutes. Then afterwards, some of the shots I'll get out of our sets. I worked with the assistant coach Andre with those, and did some spot shooting at the end, some off ball movement shooting, also some creating off ball screens. Yeah, it felt, felt okay today. Shot is still feeling a little funky, but. It's one of those things, just gotta continue to groove it, get used to the new ball. And more so, I, I, at this point, it's more mental than anything. It's just you gotta see a couple go in and then the floodgates will open. Especially kind of without how I play, I'm a super streaky player. Like when things are going good, they're going great. When things are going bad, they're going pretty bad. So, um, but we're gonna take a shower and we're gonna walk into the town and get some lunch. So, all right, what you doing? Barbershop, do I dare? Not even, but no recommendation? Nah, I can't. I can't. I just can't do it. It turned out to be a nice day. It was all good vibes, baby. I think we're gonna try out this place. Someone recommended it has the best coffee. So we're gonna check it out. Just me, or is this the same exact menu as the other restaurant? I might be tripping, but <laughs> I think it's the same menu, of course. Cappuccino. Oh, and, and we got an appetizer. We got some shrimp. I don't know. I was just feeling some shrimp, kind of random, but we're gonna get some shrimp. Some shrimp, coffee, some gas water. Doesn't really all go together, but. Got 79 zloty, and that's like, I think it was like 22, 22 USD, 21. Damn, that's stupid. Okay, I have these restaurants figured out. They're all owned by the same person. They have to be. I need someone, someone from Ustrup to confirm this for me, but they have the same menus. Most of the food is like the same. There's a couple different things. Wow, why is it hitting the but you're not fooling me. Shout out my boy Mike Finky, put me on this little shop. They're everywhere. They got the best chocolate muffins. <laughs> so, shout out Mike Fink for the chocolate muffins. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. I believe they're also the perfect days to go grocery shopping 
So I'm gonna take you guys into a Polish grocery store. It's called uh, Beardronka. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it means like ladybug. But it's the one I showed in my last video. But now I'll take you inside, kind of like how that whole process works. Get your little cart. A little short for me. First thing is this, found this smoothie. It's got like coconut, banana, orange juice, pineapple juice maybe? You see it's got really good produce. We're not gonna get much, it's probably just mangoes. One mango. I don't know if these, I don't think these are Polish, but my boy Evan had these in the States and these are fire, these are good. Oh, you gotta get the, I tried these here too. What are they, the chicken strips? Shoo! Some of those. Get some yogurt, some raspberry, and strawberry. I have granola at the house, that'll be good. You can get some sauce for the chicken strips. The sauce was good last time. If you're an overseas hooper, you know about these. Cine Minis. Shout out Kwame Mitchell, put me on. You know how much I like my coffee, but we're out in espresso pods, so we're doing the three in ones, little stir coffee. Y'all know you gotta get a little, little wine, go with your dinner. I like like a sweet, semi-sweet red wine, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. That isn't what I'm looking for, I don't know. We're gonna try it. Fresco semi-sweet red. <laughs> Yo, this is <coughs> crazy, but someone just got caught stealing from the grocery store and they maced them. <laughs> it's just in my eyes too. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. <coughs> oh my goodness. This is actually crazy. Wow. Caught stealing wine. That's actually crazy, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, my throat and nose is burning. This is wild. I wish I would have got that on camera. I think I'm going to see if I can film. It's that guy right there in the blue. Uh, I apologize, I think my camera battery died, my phone battery died, and eventually I was filming on the iPad at the end of our grocery store trip, but it sucks that I missed the best part, like when I was checking out, we had we got stopped from checking out for like five, 10 minutes, because this guy like bumped me while I was unloading my groceries, or putting it on, on like the conveyor belt, and next thing I know, like I'm coughing, I'm wheezing, everyone else is coughing and wheezing, and the security guard has this dude like armed behind his back. I thought the dude was crying, but it, he had he got maced because he was <laughs> he was stealing. I think it was either beer or wine. But I was like, what is going on? But the whole place had like the the mace in the air, so everybody in the checkout area, everyone was coughing, wheezing. Um, but I didn't get I didn't get much of it on camera. I just got a little bit of my reaction. But yeah, now we're back we're back home. Fridge is stocked. I mean, not that much. We only got stuff for, I think, two, three days. Fridge and pantry kind of stocked. Not really, but. So I think we're gonna take a nap right now. Probably an hour, hour and a half. Wake up, do some reading, some meditation, some journaling, you know, stay busy, watch some YouTube, and call my lady later. But yeah, it's kind of like the gist of a normal off day. You kind of walk into the city, enjoy your time, get a little work in. Um, it's, it's very chill and it's, it's very enjoyable, so.